school, he used to call me the stinker. What? Tinker the stinker. Well, a joke on your name? It wasn't a joke, it caught on. People used to hold their noses if I got near them or pretend not to see me and walk about saying, Pooh, what's that stinker? Honestly. Made my life a misery. Well, now he's giving you a chance to change it, and not just your life, our lives. <laughs> you don't know, cut But I know the rut we're in, though, don't I? It's been ten years, Harold, the same house, same firm, same job. It's a chance, a chance at last to change, move, do things. And you, because of some stupid joke it someone played joke. on you, what, 30 years ago and more, you expect me to stand quietly by and watch you chuck it away? It wasn't a joke, don't you understand? That was what was so diabolical about it. He put the finishing touches to the feeling of inadequacy that my father drilled into me. He thought I was wet. To be told every day by my peers that I was also offensive. Jack Cutler meant to destroy me and he very nearly succeeded. Well, I think you're making a bit much of it. It sounds like a typical bit of adolescent boy's beastliness to me. And anyway, it's history. I'm trying to explain. I know your father was a monster. I met him and I've had to live with your woeful insecurity. This is really being childish. I'm your wife. You say you love well, me. Well, you know I do. Then take the job. At least see if your old school pal means it. Please. For my sake, I want a bit of life before I die. Well, we'll see. Well, we all know what that means, don't we? Oh, don't go off like that.